For this section, we are going to talk about FTP. Uh, FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. And uh, File Transfer Protocol, FTP, is the method in which we're going to upload our, our files to our web server. Uh, in order to make our websites live, uh, in order for anybody to ever see them on the internet, we have to put them on a server somehow, and this is how we do it. So FTP is a method, it's a protocol in which we, we place those files. Um, we also use the, the term FTP really as a verb. Uh, so you can say, I'm going to FTP my site, and that means you're going to upload your site. Uh, a couple of other terms that are worth pointing out here. Upload means to place files on the server. Download means to take files from the server. Um, to your computer. Okay, so upload means you're going to put them on the internet. Download means you're essentially taking them from the internet. Um, so when we we have to understand these terms really, so that we we sound like a, a web design professional when we get out there in the industry. Um, in order to FTP, you're going to need some sort of FTP program. You're going to need some some sort of program that's going to help you place those files out there. Now the one that I use is called FileZilla. Uh, I like FileZilla because it's free. Uh, obviously free is good. I like it because it's a Mac and a PC program, so you can have it on a Mac, you can have it on a PC, uh, doesn't matter. So in order for us to put something out there on the internet, we have to have an FTP program. There's many, many, many of them out there. If FileZilla is not working for you, um, Go try something else. Uh, Dreamweaver actually has one built in. We'll look at that later in the semester uh, when we start to, to get into Dreamweaver, but it has one built in. Uh, there's one called Qt FTP, Win FTP, uh, I think it's just a Windows based, but there are many. So if, if I would try FileZilla first, uh, just go out to Google, type in FileZilla, and you should be able to find that pretty easily. Now I've created a basic HTML skeleton here. Um, just type some notes in for the first time. I'm going to go ahead and line, put a quick line break after each one of these. Just going to copy and paste that after each one. Um, and I'll leave it kind of at, at that. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Now I have saved this file already to uh, a folder on my desktop. I've got a root folder right here called demo for FTP. And inside of it, I've just saved this file as demo.html. Notice I didn't save it as index.html, and you'll see why in a few moments when we go to look at this online. So I've saved it as demo.html for right now. When I go uh, really back to my code, uh, the first thing I've really got to do is just make sure that everything is done and there's no errors, uh, because when I put this online, you know, obviously it's going to be there for the world to see. Chances are no one's going to flock to it instantly, but at least be aware that when what we're about to do is make our page live. Now, the next thing you're going to have to do is pull up your FileZilla program or your FTP program. I've got mine pulled up here already, and by default, uh, yours will look something like this. Okay, You're going to need to type three things. You're going to need the host name, the username, and the password. Now, please note these are your uh, usernames and passwords that you set up with your server. Uh, typically, it'll, they'll call it an FTP username and FTP password. The host is going to be your domain name, uh, including the .com and without the HTTP uh, colon slash slash or www. I'm going to use one of my uh, clients web servers at the moment. It's called neontikitribe.com. My username I'll type in and my password I'll type in. You can leave port blank. Um, by default your port number is 21 but I don't think you're going to need to to use that for any reason. Uh, if you do your server will tell you that up front but leave that blank. At that point you should hit quick connect quick connect and it should uh, go ahead and connect for you. Now at that point you should see something populate in this area of your screen. It was probably all white before and now it's actually um, it's got files listed there. 
Now my server uh, is already set up so that we've got quite a few folders on it. We've got a lot of files on it. If I were to put a file called index.html right here in the root of this server, not on any sort of folder, that would be the front page of my website. That would be the front page of, of neontikitribe.com. Now, I don't want to do that, obviously. They've already got stuff there. So I don't want to mess with that. But I can play around with the folders, and I'll show you how that works. Um, over here on the left side is a list of all of your files. Now, I'm on a Mac, so it may look a little different than a PC, but overall, this is just a list of, uh, of all the files and folders you have on your computer. Now, you can also just go directly to your files uh, by opening up your folder, and you can drag those in to your FTP editor as well. So, as I just kind of move things around here to get settled, I'm going to put things in the FB folder. This is just a folder that, that I'm going to play around with to, to uh, show so we can see what's there. Um, if I double click that folder, it shows me what I've already got there, and I've got some stuff, including an index. Uh, I've got an index.html. So, again, I'm not going to overwrite that. I I'm, I'm, don't want to mess with my client's stuff. But I do have this demo.html. Now, when I click and drag demo straight into this window, uh, it, I didn't really see anything happen. Sometimes you'll see a little status bar come up to show you that it's working, but sure enough, there it is. Now, in order for me to go out and see if it worked, I need to go live to the internet, um, pull up my, my favorite web browser, and type in the address. Now, the address is going to be some combination of your domain name plus any folder name that you might be in. I'm in the FB folder and any file name that you might have. So when I pull up my browser, neontikitribe.com, if I go to that, that's going to show me the index file right on the root of my server. This isn't what I just made. This is something that uh, is already out there. If I go to the FB folder, it's going to automatically find the index.html. This is not the one I just made. But then if I put my file name there, demo.html, check that out. There's the one we just made moments ago. Here's a file, an HTML file, that I've created from scratch and FTP'd or uploaded to my server by using FileZilla to just drag and drop. Now you can drag files at a time or folders at a time, but the hardest part I think really with this process is trying to remember like the file structure. You know, if you're bringing in multiple files or you know and, and how you're gonna have to type in the address in your browser so when I'm in my browser you've got to type your domain name slash any folder name if you've got multiple folders you could do the, the, the FB folder slash the demo folder slash the week 14 folder slash you know whatever you can type in anything you want as far as the folders go but in this case I've got one folder called FB and your server automatically looks for index.html. If it's there, it'll pull it up automatically. If not, you'll probably get some sort of error message. But you can also pull up direct files like demo.html. So FTP is not difficult. The hardest part is, um, well, the hardest part is probably setting up your server uh, before FTP. But once you've got your server set up and you've got that username and password, it's not that difficult to upload your files. It actually just takes a few seconds. Now, if you have a folder that has a lot of images or video or audio in it, um, it may take a little while to, to upload, depending on your internet connection. But it could take a few minutes to get your site there. Uh, it may not be as instantaneous as it was for us today. Okay. So FTP is all about sending files to a server. And generally, you're going to use some program, a free program like FileZilla, to do so. Hope it was easy for you.